recommend it on our Discord, so, uh, here we go. <laughs> Hello? John, where are you? I'm putting this episode off. You need to stack up and come review this game. But I'm not hiding, though. Is Jock gonna have to choke a bitch? <laughs> I think he bought it, Rockington. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I, I was reviewing the game the whole time. Look, <laughs> John, that doesn't go in there, you silly bitch. Oh. You're right. Wow. <laughs> You're right, Jack. This has to be done. Bubsy. Oh, no. Bubsy was a Bob Captoon, I guess. Oh. The video game company Accolade tried to push as their mascot of sorts. You know, someone to rival the likes of Mario and Sonic. He did a good job here, guys. It's a cat. And put him in a shirt, BAM! Bubsy! <laughs> I quit! Bubsy. Bubsy. Claws encounters of the third kind. Now, how can I fail? I don't know, I don't see how I can fail. Oh, jeez, I just don't <laughs> really want to do this, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's contracts in the sort. <laughs> hmm. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. You're pretty safe with a chapter one called Cheese Wheels of Doom. So I'm willing to wager that everything could go wrong! The first thing you'll notice is that this game is a little something I like to call a float game. As in, everything's floaty! Even Bubsy. In fact, that's one of his main moves. I find it a bit curious that they designed a bobcat to have two abilities. Jump and float. What kind of what kind of character design Makes is this? Sense. It'd be cool if he was like you know, a flying squirrel or a bat, even. Then I'd have reason to feel justified in gliding. I mean, when's the last time you were hiking and a freaking bobcat just came floating by? It, it didn't happen. It's because right. it can't happen. I know some of you might call that nitpicking, but but look how stupid it looks. It's a pantsless cat with a white exclamation T-shirt fucking floating around like Mary Poppins in a hurricane. The background is really disorienting, just watch. When you jump up high, it just sort of stays put and all the platforms around you completely vanish, and it gives you a pretty poor idea of where you reside spatially. Also, every single button jumps. That's a pretty good allocation of your buttons. Oh, is that a save point? Let's go check it out. Am I stupid? I really thought that was a save point. Like, seriously, doesn't that look like a midway save point to you? Yeah, oh, whatever, you're right, I forgot. Gumball machines are the cause of 200,000 deaths a year. This is this serious. Everything is just really shoddy. The, the hit detection is weird, the jumps are hard to make, and what? What? What killed me here? <laughs> I mean, as you can see, there is a giant space in between me and Steve Martin Jr. here. <laughs> what? Steve. It feels like they wanted to make something like Sonic the Hedgehog here, but the levels yeah. are built like it's Mario. He's got some sort of ice momentum going on here. If you start running, he'll build up ridiculous speed, but since you die in one hit, your adventure's bound to end in seconds. It's like they didn't want you to have fun with this game. They wanted you to feel like a four-year-old who just ran out into an ice rink where a frictionless, frictionless feet! Oh, what's going on here, Bubsy? You feeling all right? I melted? Was that... Was that falling damage? They put falling damage in their motherfucking wow. 2D platform game? <laughs> it's optional, but you can take these alternative paths that spice up the gameplay a bit. So let's see where this one takes us. Took me to the beginning of the level. Who cares? I don't care. I don't even. I don't even care. This game wouldn't even be so bad if they slowed down the pace a bit and zoomed the screen out. Everything's too close up. Before you know it, you get pelted with something you didn't even have a chance to react to. Wow. You never know what to expect next. You just gotta kind of carefully inch along to beat this game. And hey, that's just no fun. Oh no! Look, 
de no, there is, there is falling damage in this game. I'm not crazy. You, you can't put falling damage in a freaking platformer. That, that's like putting ski gravy on Skittles. All right, yeah. almost done with this level. Just gotta get a little. Oh, that's the rainbow gravy. Oh, jumping in a car killed me. No, it's sad. I'm really. That's the way we <laughs> wash our hands. <laughs> la, 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 la. I'll take your hit, Bubsy. I see what you're saying to me. Don't you worry. We're on the same level. Jesus. Let's try Bubsy too. Maybe uh, this one's a little better. Why are you doing this? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, Bubsy two. Bubsy three. How violent he is with his legs. Bubsy fucking two. Oh, and don't expect those amazing puns to stop anytime soon. If anything, it speeds up from here. Remember, I am a trained professional. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's happening here on the intro screen, but I do know Bubsy turns around and is like, What the fuck is this shit? I like it! Apparently, though, he likes it. So I can choose between one player, grand tour, or whatever that is, and play for points. But yeah, play for points! Gotta get that gamer score up and post it to SNES Live, yo. Yo, Gatorade me, bitch. <laughs> uh, was the ending of Bubsy 1 that fantastical? Did some plot development end up causing the Bubsy universe to become a 1984-esque dystopian future? Well, clearly one thing's for sure. I gotta pick from West Wing and East Wing. Never mind Bubsy 1 and Bubsy 2 over here, you know, the whoever they are. So it would appear that Bubsy's in some weird place and he's gotta go to all these places and beat the levels. Uh, don't worry, it's, it's all very well explained. Well, this time around, at least we got more buttons to work with. You can jump, glide, and use an item. Now, by far, the best feature in this game is whenever Bubsy dies, he'll say the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'll be back. Oh, nuts. Oh, keep it up. Just keep it up. He'll make some quote from a famous movie or something. Although dissimilar to the likes of Duke Nukem, when Bubsy makes these references, it's not endearing. It's just annoying. Is the writer's strike over yet? Apparently not, Bubsy. Apparently not. <laughs> wow, they should have called this game Drugsy. <laughs> I mean, wow. Looks like it's on drugs. What's going on in this picture? It's like some Salvador Dali shit. You got pig statues and bouncing pigs and pig lady. What is this? What is Pig World? Oh, okay. It's, it's Hamelot. Oh, wow. It's, it's, wow. Ha it's Hamelot. It looks like... like Good one, Bubsy. <laughs> hey, want to be a cast member on Saturday Night Live? I know you'll make the most of it! I'm leaving you, Bubsy! It's just like they drew up about 200 assets and dumped them all into this world with no cohesiveness whatsoever. I mean, I guess it seems like they're really trying here, but my god, it's a clusterfuck to the eyes. I, I can't play this, it's like a fever dream. Why is he doing that? Why is, uh, why, why is he doing that? <laughs> What is, the re what is the reason for this? It's hard to explain, but you don't get the same kind of environmental feedback like you would in Donkey Kong. Bubsy doesn't have much weight or feel like he's really there, so it's hard to play and control. You'd have to be really young to get any enjoyment out of this. I mean, Bubsy 2 is marginally better than Bubsy 1, but it's honestly only because of the better art design. Okay, this whole situation is starting to make me vom in my mouth a bit, so uh, yeah. let's graduate to our final stop on this uh, he's journey. Doing more? You don't want this. You think you want this now, but trust me, you don't want this. Bubsy 3D oh, for the 3D. PlayStation 1. Oh. Apparently, it's winner of the Gold X Award. One of the sleeper hits of 96. Yeah, a quote from the guy who made Bubsy 3D. Run, jump, swim, and fly anywhere. Get your paws on a mess of atoms for extra lives? Okay, hold the phone. Having one-ups in your game is not a selling point. Let alone a bullet on the back of the box. I mean, no. you can just tell. They were really stretching to say even one good thing about this game. Play cat and mouse in a unique two-player mode. Yeah, okay. But hey, this game's from the good old days, where the game manual is actually the cover of the jewel case. And by good old days, I mean, good lord, is it hard to get this thing out. It's got these two little bumps here that keep it from slipping out, and four I pins holding it that. in place. There's really no easy way to get it yeah, out. It's not like you're gonna need instructions on how to play Bubsy 3D. An instruction manual on better game selection might be more useful to you at this point. True. I don't wanna do this! Uh, I'm just letting you know that this is a bad idea! What could possibly go wrong? Whoa! Hey! Whoa now! 
I think we know where all the budget went. So, as it would seem, the bad guys in Bubsy 3D are the sneezing enemies from the first game. I like how that's actually what they went with. As if they were like, nope, they were the first enemies in the first one, that's it! They have to be the main enemy, we can't come up with anything better than this! Then fucking this! Dude, parallel universe Shigeru Miyamoto's like, uh, the Goombas that the first enemy is seen in the first game. Well, that's it. Main villain. Five stars! Eight plus! Four stars! Man, if these are the cutscene graphics, I don't know that I want to see the real game. Bubsy is 3D in Forbidden Planet. Because talent. God. Well, there you have it. Bubsy 3D. Now this is truly art right here. Yeah, you are looking at fine art. Where do we even begin with this? Bubsy 3D's controls can't even be categorized as bad. They're closer to unfinished. It's nonsensical how you move in this game, and it goes beyond every gaming convention. It's hard to explain, but you can't run around freely like in Mario 64. You can only go straight forward and straight back. To turn, you literally have to move your trajectory left and right, and then go forward when you got the direction you want to go. In turn, this makes Bubsy 3D feel more like a freaking strategy game than a platformer. And, oh, don't you forget, this game wants you to know that this is the true essence of a platformer. Now, what would a platform game be without platforms? Hmm. <clears throat> now, if you would just take a nice look at these, uh, platforms... Oh, wow. Yeah, that sure is a platform, all right? A non-colored, non-polygonal, non-textured platform. Bubsy 3D! Literally a platformer! Literally! Oh, God! Oh, God! Who looked at this and thought it was okay? This is what the alpha version .001 of a game should look like, not the finished product! Now, it is true that Mario 64 revolutionized 3D platformers and changed the way we expect them to function, but Mario 64 came out on June 23rd, 1996, whereas this game came out October 31st, 1996. That's about three months later. And if you're blaming the PlayStation 1's 32-bit limitations, just take a look at Crash Bandicoot, still before Bubsy 3D, on August 31st, 1996. So let's talk about jumping. When you jump, and this is every time you jump, for some reason the camera pans down at the ground. I suppose to help you see where you're gonna land, but after a while it just kind of gets nauseating and obstructs your view. Yeah. There were just so many poor design choices here that it's impossible to count them all off the top of my head. And oh, don't lose any sleep. Bubsy still says things. Oh, does he ever still say things. Oh look! An arrow! Aren't these game designers wonderful? Now how truly ironic. Wow. A game designer's job in most cases is to create a living world that ceases to be fake in the mind of the player. I mean, think about yeah. it. Even if the game constantly breaks the fourth wall like in Duke Nukem or Monkey Island, the world is still believable. Your suspension of belief kicks in, and your mind allows you to meld with the game environment as if you were actually there. When a game like Bubsy 3D makes self-referential humor, it just seems foolish. Having the designers of this game refer to themselves as designers, something just feels wrong about it. Game theory time! The more you know. I mean, look at the walls and the ground. It's about as basic as you can get for polygonal gaming. Bubsy himself is the best looking model in the game, and even he has only like five frames per animation. I suppose what your goal in this game is, is to find the 32 missing pieces of your escape rocket or something. There's 16 levels in this game, so I suppose that would be two rocket pieces per level? The game actually comes with a little map of the first three levels. Ha! Huh. From way up here it looks like Sonic 3D Blast. Almost makes you feel a little bad. Someone put their heart and soul into this game, and maybe it was really the best they could do! I mean, they even named different areas and gave the levels clever little names like Claws for Alarm and Claustrophobic and Cat Atonic Catastrophe. Did I just say I felt bad? Let me rephrase that. I feel bad for me. You think I'm <laughs> skimping you here or something? <laughs> no, this is all there is to show. There's nothing more. You just walk around this place and grab atoms. That's it. And it's hard to even grab them. The hit detection is so precise. I mean, if you can't even get the coins in your game, right? I mean, you want it to be gratifying. You want it to be like, yeah, coins! <laughs> you don't want it to be like, um, hi, yes, I, um, oh, excuse me, sorry. I just, uh, trying to grab that coin. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Wait, what? What? Turns out if you leave your controller idle for too long, Bubsy starts messing around with your TV settings. No, look, seriously, look. That's it, that's the best thing. That's the best thing in the whole game. He's just, he's fucking with my TV. Good. I think 
you know. Admit it or not, you just have to know that you failed at making your game when the player has a hard time walking from point A to point B. Now, no distractions, no obstacles, just walking in a straight line. Watch the fuck out, citizens of Bubsy Land. Captain Bubsy's drunk as shit again and heavily armed with puns. You know, Jacques, we didn't have to do all that, play all those games. You know, Rockington agrees with me, okay? You can be a bit of a, you know, a type A personality sometimes, and I don't, I don't care, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it, I'm going to speak the truth. I didn't mean it! Cause you had a bad day, you take a